Hello Capricorn, this is Deja Vu Tarot and I am back with another collective read for you. Spirit gave me two cards. Of course you Capricorn, some of you guys may have this in your chart as well, okay? Also Pluto, Pluto is the planet of change, transformation, okay? So let's get into it. It's just a collective of energies. If you want something more personal, feel free to click on my link below and book an appointment okay or if you just like the videos make sure you like and subscribe to my channel all right i definitely appreciate the love all right so holy spirit show me what i need to see with this i pretty much shuffled all my cards and everything so let's get into it give me five cards holy spirit the deck you got the ace of cups ace of cups so let's see what's going on someone definitely loves you this is the subconscious what we do not see or it could just be meaning self-love so you guys are practicing self-love so in that case yes definitely but i feel like yeah it's gonna be a victory in love for you capricorn okay could be a soul partnership. This is the Holy Grail love. Definitely a spiritual connection. Alright, let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, so why did you show me... Oh, my bad. I didn't to show you guys the cards. Alright, so let's put the Ace of Cups here. Alright, so you have the Emperor. The emperor talks about basically is the match to the empress, right? All four kings of the deck. The emperor also talks about someone that's very controlling, could be, or someone that wants to take charge, could be a father figure as well, or a boss in the company, right? Someone that's definitely in charge. Two of swords, making a decision, right? Trying to decide which way to go or what to do. Alright, so some of you guys are trying to make some important decisions coming up here. Page of Wands. Page of Wands talk about traveling. It also talks about my adolescent sexual card, right? Making, uh, you know, very childlike sexual, what is it, sexual decisions, right? Regarding sex, this also can mean travel as well. Taking some type of action. And the Four of Swords. Four of Swords talks about healing, thinking, resting, you know, trying to get yourself together. It's definitely a healing card. Laying something to rest. And then the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands talks about making a decision to take some type of action, right? And so we got this with the Ace of Cups. Making some type of action towards a love, right? After some doing some type of healing. Could be this emperor here. I'll get a definite masculine energy, Capricorn. You and the other person. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or just the emperor energy, right? It's just the energy at the end of the day. Alright, Holy Spirit. Why don't you show me this emperor? Show me what I need to see with this emperor. Why is the emperor here? Yeah, yeah, judgment. The emperor want to return. They want to come. They may be long distance. Yeah, they feeling left out in the cold, right? Wants to return, do some type of reconciliation here. So they have some anxiety, okay? They can't sleep. They're kind of nervous about this. They don't know what to do, what to say. I mean, they, they can't sleep at night. They definitely have an anxiety about a proposal, could be, or some type of proposal or offer that they want to give to you. Could be scared of commitment, too. That's what I'm getting off of this, too. They may be frightened of commitment. Some people, it may give them anxiety. What's this two of swords, Holy Spirit? What's this two of swords? Queen of Cups, yeah. And it fell out over this four of swords. They want to heal this. This is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. 
right? Or could be following their intuition, but they're deciding to follow their heart. Follow their emotions. Could be a cancer you guys are dealing with. Pisces, Scorpio. Give me one more with the two of swords. Yeah, making a decision to be happy. Right? This is the most positive card in the deck. Definitely after some type of heartbreak here. So you, Capricorn, or your person is deciding to, uh, you know, take that big step in love. They may be scared of commitment. They have some anxieties here. But all in all, the overall energy was the Ace of Cups. Could be because of a heartbreak. Yeah, having a heartbreak in some previous relationship, a previous commitment cause some type of heartbreak here so they may be a little frightened you know a little hesitant but they're going to decide to follow their intuition to be happy what's the page of wands we're going to find a page of wands Holy Spirit. what is the page of wands king of swords yes to travel and tell the truth to travel and tell the truth. The truth is, is that he loves you, Capricorn. He or she. Right? And they love you and they want to heal this. What's the four swords? Yeah. The high priestess. Exactly. They know it. They want to follow the intuition. They could be holding back right now, watching you. You or the other person. Okay? They know that they want to go towards their love, towards their happiness. Okay, they're just watching right now, secretly sneaking. Could have a platform on social media or just, you know, your pictures, your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Alright, what is the two of wands? Justice. Yeah, I've seen that one to flip out. Deciding to balance this out. Take this action to balance out. It also could be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. They want to balance this out. Yeah. Reconciliation. I can't make this up. They want to come back quickly, too. Alright. Some fast communication here. Yeah, but they want to balance it out. They may have some legal issues, too, that left them broke. Right? Or they feel left out in the cold because they want to be happy. They're probably unhappy where they're at. We did get that with the Three of Swords. Yeah, Three of Cups. They want to come back. Yeah, King of Cups. I can't make this up. They love you, Capricorn. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. They want to build. They want to work with you here. They feel left out in the cold. This was pretty self-explanatory. What's the Ace of Cups? Yeah, they want to get the courage to come back to say they love you. And they want to be the emperor, right? But they are scared of commitment because you got the nine of swords. So what they having so much anxiety about, Holy Spirit? Oh, commitment. Yeah, scared of commitment. This is the ten of pentacles. This is commitment, long-term, legacy. So, yeah, they're scared of commitment. But they're going to get the courage to said because they love you. They feel left out in the cold. Yeah. Right? They, they no longer don't want to regret. Maybe they resisted you and they were scared of commitment so they resisted you. So they don't want to be, they want to have courage. They don't want to feel regretful or shame. Okay. They love you. So this was a pretty easy spread. Let me see. Let me get some hidden truth oracles. What does your person want to say that they have not said? Yeah, they want to offer to you. Page of Pentacles. They want to offer you a commitment to their empress. To be their baby mother. Alright, Capricorn. What do your person want to say? What do they person want to say that they have not said to Capricorn? What does Capricorn person want to say? Now, this could be he or she. You guys take your story how it go. I'm saying he, but it's all energy. So, you guys take your story how it applies. Show me what I need to see, Holy Spirit, on that. What do Capricorn person want to say? My life is not together as it seems. 
Absolutely, we know that you're not unhappy right now. You may you feel left out in cold, right? Could be going through, like I said, in a marriage or a relationship with some divorce proceedings. That is not looking too good. What else? I wonder if you are happy without me. Oh, he missed you. Yeah, he's in regret. He's wondering, are you not happy? Are you happy without him? Alright, so this definitely flipped on the floor. It says, we need to let each other go. But it flipped kind of up in reverse. I don't feel like he want to let you go. I wish I had treated you better. Yeah, he wish he treated you better. He probably rejected you. Like I said, nine of swords. He was scared of commitment. So yeah, probably rejected you or cheated on you or however your situation go. I remember every detail of that day. Yep, he did something. He definitely did something. I couldn't let you get close to me, right? Because he was scared of commitment. Nine of Swords. Abandonment issues. That's what it seems like to me. I'm afraid to contact you. Absolutely. We got that again with the Nine of Swords. Having anxiety. Being afraid. Overthinking. Let me get two more. I replay our conversations over and over and over. Yep. So you guys may have argued because we did see the Nine of Swords in here somewhere so yeah you probably had an argument and last but not least i want you so yes they want you capricorn they hope that the, you can forgive them one day all right so whatever they did they knew what they were doing they feel bad they already can't sleep they have an anxiety right they wondering if you even is happy without them so they're very regretful. They want to release this and come back to you, Capricorn. So that's what I got. If it resonated, hit that like and subscribe button or share the video. Just get it out there, okay? So once again, what goes around comes around. Deja vu tarot. Peace.